Man, I just upgraded all the depth modules and stuff, but... The first time we went exploring after that, I'm getting stuck already. My Seamoth can go 900 meters now, but immediately we find a place that's like a thousand meters deep. Shoot. I don't think we can find more new ones for the Seamoth. I get the impression that Mark III is probably the deepest, so if we want to go deeper... The Prawn Suit. We oh, we gotta find stuff like Nickel Ores, Kyanite, that sort of thing. Will I know it when I see it? Yeah, that's just like titanium stuff. What if I've already gone past the material and I didn't realize? Just like with a gel sack. <laughs> that could very well be happening right now. I don't know, man. Oh! Quartz. Well, just looking around here, I don't see new materials. It should be pretty obviously a new one. Because these ones aren't new, these are just limestone. Yeah. Well, we have to come back here. We have to because we gotta bring a purple tablet here. No need to worry. Just to be sure again. Yeah, okay. Definitely don't want to touch that. But what about my Seamoth? Uh, oh, I think my freaking Seamoth is getting evaporated or something. It just lost a little bit of health from that. It's smoking! It's smoking! Oh my god. Right, so nothing. Nothing can withstand this pool of green stuff. Not human flesh, not robotics. Fair enough. Just judging by how spacious it is here though, definitely like a Cyclops kind of place. If we want to make more modules, we gotta find nickel ore. Titanium. Oh, you're a ghost weed. Ghost weed. Called you Gabe's feather before. Okay. You ran. You ran a night. Oh no, it's like lithium. Does that mean there's some like nuclear reactor stuff going on here? Is that why we're finding uraninite crystals? They've all got this like green tint on them. I don't think we usually find diamonds exposed like this. Maybe it's like due to the heat and the lava and the magma. Ow! Or something? Things happening. Oh, look at that! That one looks like a reaper! Yeah, its head looks like a reaper! Oh. A lot of stuff was happening here at least a thousand years ago. A lot of stuff was alive here, but for some reason they're all dead now. These are all gigantic predators too, so for them to die... Because of the disease? Why did the disease start out? Just random mutations, or did the aliens bring it here? The aliens seem to be studying it. Why is there like a random... Random stretch of white wall here. <laughs> Some kind of facility yet again? Hmm. Yeah, we we went pretty far away from the alien facility, and now we're just trying to get back over there. On the other side, there was yet another place that we could have gone deeper into. But again, it's past 900 meters. 
Yes. It kind of sounds like a Pokemon cry. Like a Zapdos or something. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. You can't outrun me. Come back here. Oh, actually, are we someplace else? Oh, I get the feeling we've gone somewhere else entirely again. Because why is the alien structure so far away? What? A thousand! Where did I go? Oh my god. Hey, I don't have any sort of like... I don't have energy. I didn't bring a battery or anything. We probably should be careful about that. It's actually this way. So there's at least three exits then to this place. Unless if I just went back to that weird place I came from before? I don't know, man. I'm getting turned around. At the minimum, at the very, very minimum, there's two entrances to this place. Hmm. Doesn't seem like it's related to the creepy blood. Oh, I want to go down more. I want to go, but we can't. We need that. Stop making weird noises. Actually, that might be kind of presumptuous of me. I mean, it's weird to me, but <laughs> that's just how you roar. That's just how you make noise. No wonder the warpers sound kind of different then, because everything else here... Mm, the warper noise sounds very electronic, like robotic. And that's probably because it is. Hello, 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 hello. Yeah, I think earlier we came up again from the lava place, and maybe I went the wrong direction after that. Shh. Just passing through. Passing through. All those fish. So if I try to, like, put my sea moth under a stream of this, I'll probably get hurt. Okay, not too much. Not at all, <laughs> but not a good idea to touch it anyway. Wow, we went far today just on the sea moth. All within this one cave too. Back to the cables, here we are. Right. We will bring a purple tablet back here. And then I'm pretty sure we came from like above somewhere. Like there. But then down here, there's more. But we can't go that deep again. This is a limit. 900. I think everything is leading here though, right? Oh, actually, this is this is where we came from. <gasps> it's so easy to get lost. Oh my gosh, I have no idea where I am. Hmm, maybe we should focus on getting out of here then. Enough adventure for one day. We did get a new signal. Oh yeah, that's what I was talking about. I saw this, but I know we didn't get past it yet. What is that? Can we at least scan that? It's a little bit different here. It's all like blue. Is that the same? Oh, oh, oh. Hull, hull, hull. What is this? Giant cove tree. Oh, it's got a shielding. Kind of like the membrane tree. Not allowed to touch the middle. Oh, 
Oh. I think they're trying to tell me this is a peaceful place just by how there's all these rays here and we know that rays are all peaceful. It is pretty. Can I try the experiment on this again? Does it hurt? It doesn't. Oh. Gigantic uraninite deposits. Dude, if you think about what we're doing right now, like, I, I'm having a hard time wrapping my head around what's going on here because what we're in right now is water, but this is also water. But for some reason, it's like separate. See, this feels like we're actually in water, right? When we come out of here, it feels like this is air. But we're still in water right here. <laughs> so it's kind of tripping me out a little bit. Are these naturally forming? Hmm, well, there was an alien facility near here, so maybe it's all... Maybe they picked the spot because they had these crystals. It's gonna power... easy to power the facility with. Oh. Lithium. If only I had the drill arm and the prawn suit today. It's peaceful here. Welcome aboard, Captain. Oh, we're getting too hungry. We gotta go. We don't have any more water. We have food. We can cook peep- Oh, but I don't want to cook that peeper. It's shiny. <laughs> Leviathans. Ghost Leviathan Juvenile. This large predator has adapted to live in deep waters and dark cave systems, attacking anything and everything in its quest to grow larger. Torso. Soft outer membrane, an elongated body enables superior navigation of tight cave environments. Displays some similarities to other eel-like predators in the area. However, the ghost leviathan has covered over the electrical prongs on its inner torso with a taut, transparent membrane, which delivers superior maneuverability. Diet. In its juvenile state, this leviathan feeds on larger herbivores and unfortunate members of its own species. They display a remarkable rate of growth, which shows no signs of stopping, suggesting that they must abandon their hatching grounds before they grow too large and make for more open waters. Avoid. Makes sense? I want to read about that tree that we just saw. Because it seems pretty unique, right? It's a one-of-a-kind tree. It is not a... It's not a generic tree. Giant Cove Tree. A vast tree encountered in a deep cove, and the only one of its kind encountered on the planet. The tree is surrounded by rays grazing on its pink outer leaves. Bark. Hardy, fast-growing bark covers the outside of the tree. Minuscule organisms inhabit the notches in the surface. Ghost Leviathan Eggs The tree's branches are wrapped around a number of maturing eggs belonging to the species designated Ghost Leviathan. Oh, okay. Okay. This tree appears to be an ancient nesting ground. The eggs were laid when the tree was young, and now the branches protect and grow with them as they await the right conditions to hatch. Oh. Okay. That's what that is. Oh. Suddenly things don't seem so peaceful here anymore, and I kind of want to get out <laughs> right away. Hmm. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. Oh, I gotta remember that. Be careful. Well, no, I do still feel like they're trying to indicate to me that this place is peaceful with all the rays and stuff, but knowing that those are ghost leviathan eggs, ah, uh, maybe I would rather have not wanted to know that. Oh, noted for future reference. If we come back here with a prawn suit, there's so many supplies here. Wow. It's like this kind of tree, right? But for some reason, this one, the tips are pink. Some interaction between the ghost of Ivan eggs and the tree. And thousands of years of time having passed. 
You don't really act any different than your friends. But you're like me, you need help. What do we do about that? Mmm, I'm getting really thirsty here. Food, not a problem. We can eat it with, you know, thermal blade and whatever, if we need to. But water... Big problem. Let's go home. I know I brought down enough supplies in the Cyclops to make a scanner room and a thermal plant. But we don't have the purple tablet, so my maybe it's good to go back home anyway. Plus, apparently we have some kind of a radio signal somewhere. Nice that we saw some new stuff today, but in terms of like resources, kyanite, nickel ore... Haven't seen those things quite just yet. Hopefully my Cyclops hasn't been devoured by some amp or whatever outside. Oh, please don't. Please don't. Mm, here we haven't looked properly around. But there's a lot of supplies here. Like a lot. Where was the other ghost leviathan? Yeah, I don't think there was too much though, overall. Hey, where is the ghost leviathan? Junior. I'm gonna call you Junior from now on. Underwater trees. Noise. We still cool? Oh, thank you, CTOU. Your sacrifice wasn't in vain. You led me to this really important place. Oh no. Oh no. Where are ya? Let me get back in. Oh god. Woo! Did you see that warper was right in front of me? Oh, just in time. Just in time. Hey, can they warp me while I'm in the Cyclops? That wouldn't be very cool. Oh. I'm not gonna put you back. Hold on, hold on. Let me put this stuff in the... Like, if I stand here, in the glass, I feel like the warper might be able to get me. That's a little bit scary. Mm. Stuff everything here. Yeah, we can make a battery charger just in case, if that is a problem. We have enough power cells to spare anyway. Stabilizing. Good. Mm hmm. Oh, it's so creepy here. I kind of want like a small desk lamp or something, but there's no in between. It's either all the lights are on or all the lights are off. Hmm. Yeah, I think the Seamoth needs a little bit of time to recharge right now, so... What can I do in the meantime? Think about what I want to do next, maybe? Do I want to keep going? Well, I can't. I can't go to the place I want to go to. That lava place. I really want to check it out. But we can't. We need to find new... resources. That's what we need. Hmm. In terms of beacons, though, we have... Well, we've gotten all the ones that we have so far. Let's put it like that. Do you think it would be worth it if I drove my Seamoth all the way back home and then... check out the new signal, see where it tells me to go? I don't want to drive the Cyclops back because I kind of feel like this might be a nice spot and it takes forever to drive it anyway. 
I don't know. How far is home? 1,000 meters? It's not too far. Hmm. Yeah, okay, you know what? While I'm thinking about this, why don't we drive? Oh, it charges so fast. That's awesome. I'm gonna drive just the Seamoth. Just the Seamoth back home and activate- Oh, actually, we don't have to do that, right? Because we can make a signal right here. Isn't that a thing? If I have a fabricator, which I'm pretty sure I do. Because of the whole reason why I'm going back is for the radio, I can, I can just make that here. And it makes sense. There's a radio on board on the submarine. The crazy good submarine. But where do I want to put it? Like, on this wall or something? Yeah. Yeah. Playing partially translated broadcast. Destroyed. Mode. Patrol. New targets unaccounted for. One. I'm not sure why we thought we were gonna get a useful message here, but uh, we don't need this anymore. Goodbye. <laughs> if you want to talk, come out and talk. Don't do your creepy little messages. I don't appreciate it. I don't appreciate it. Okay. I'm just trying to digest what we should do next then. Where are we? Like, <laughs> where are we? I haven't tried using the prawn suit new stuff yet. Spinefish. Yeah, those are the new blueprints. Hmm. That's the same guy that was like, oh, there's new, new nine biological subjects, blah, 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 blah. It does just say it's patrolling. Patrolling means if we don't go in the area where it's patrolling, we won't be destroyed. But what is that though? Like, subject 11783? Is that like an alien fish, or...? Ugh, well... Guess we'll see. Let's see here. If I try to activate Turret Island... Because I'm trying to determine that place that we went to, the alien structure. What is it exactly? Of all the places in here, it could be that these are... I don't think it's a disease research facility, because... The depth? Let me let me find it here first. Mm-hmm. We were definitely 800 meters deep, and it was a cave system with extensive fossil record. Are we southwest of the enforcement platform right now? Okay, we go this way. Uh, actually, are we? I don't... I don't think so. Like, it's over here. Yeah. Looking at the compass right now. Whoa, what was that? That was creepy. <laughs> hmm. Oh, but I have to remember, I'm on the Cyclops right now. I'm not at the alien place right now. So maybe it was a disease research facility, and that means... Well, that probably means I should come back here with a purple tablet right away, right? Yeah? Can I make one here? I can! I can make one right here. Is it worth it? Why not, I suppose? Why not? The new fish. If we ever caught a leviathan, which I'm pretty sure we can't, I wonder if we'll be able to cook it. That'll really be something. The tablet is here, under equipment. Yeah, so the orange tablet needs nickel ores too, but looking at the picture for the nickel ore, it looks really similar to just any other ore. We might have to be pretty careful about not missing it then. And I kind of wonder if we've already missed it. 
This is a little bit of a waste since I do have two tablets back at home, but hey, we don't have to go back now. Mm, but what should I do? What should I do in terms of how to go back down? Because part of me wants to jam the entire Cyclops down there right now. I feel like we can. From the other exit, for sure. Just judging by how spacious the caverns were. But this side? Where the Ghost Leviathan is? Where Junior is? Mmm, that space might be a little bit tight because there's a lot of, like, little branches and whatever going on. But overall, the entire space felt so spacious that I feel like... Maybe it's okay if I jam it down. But why- do- is there a reason why I want to jam it down right now, though? Because even if we do, the hole is maxed at... 500- oh, I can't! I can't jam it down! Okay, that's good to remember, actually. Because I don't have the upgrades. It all goes back to nickel ores and kyanites. I can't jam it down. Maybe it'll be a good idea to explore the other side of the cavern too. I'm pretty sure we haven't finished looking at maybe even half of it. Beyond the big tree, it felt like there might have been more. And then the exit, where we started hearing reapers roaring. I don't know where that was. Do we have prawn suit depth module 1? Or we're missing kyanite for this one. We're missing nickel ore for this one. Nickel ore and kyanite are our bottlenecks in terms of going deeper. Ah, <sighs> maybe we should read a little bit. It's been a while. Still suit. Haven't tried it yet. The industry standard still suit is designed to minimize water loss while exploring hostile environments by filtering and recycling bodily fluids. This would be good when I was thirsty earlier, but at the same time, that place was really hot. So probably, in most cases, the reinforced dive suit would probably still be better. Reclaimed water is stored in containers for later consumption. Normal production rate is two bottles per day. Wow! Filters contaminants from no less than four different bodily excretions. Blood and sweat may be effectively processed. Upgrade to Mark II to make the most of tears. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we'll have a lot of those where we are. Onboard flavor neutralizer can be activated at startup. Flavor neutralizer not included on all modules. The still suit because drinking reclaimed urine is better than death by dehydration. <laughs> it's quite a tagline you have there, but I can't say you're wrong. I can't say that. Thermal plant. The first rule of survival in hostile environments is to work with the resources available. If it's 800 degrees outside and you're in danger of burning to death at any moment, you may as well get some cheap, reliable energy out of it. Converts heat energy into electricity. Always take thermometer, thermometer readings before attempting installation. Core mechanisms are housed in a heat-resistant chassis, but are not impervious to extreme temperatures. The thermal power plant, it's hot. <laughs> Again, I can't say you're wrong. What about the stuff that we saw today, the new stuff? Pyrocoral. This coral species is unlike any other encountered on this planet insofar as it relies on magma flow rather than water current to deliver nutrients. As lava rises up from the planet's core and erupts at vents, this coral forms around the base until eventually it has surrounded the entire vent. Lava is then funneled up the through the coral, allowing it to siphon minerals and heat as it goes. Beyond where we were able to safely go, there was a lot of lava there, and it wasn't just lava, there was stuff there, okay? There was stuff. Table coral. Each disc is its individual colony of microorganisms filtering nutrients from the water. Growth patterns indicate the colonies are in direct competition for positions with superior current or light. Unlike other coral species, its structure is malleable, softly pulsating as it pumps nutrients to its extremities, and only turning rigid when it senses physical assault. The jewel-like nodes in the surface are concentrated buildups of rare minerals the coral is unable to process. Exploitable in computer chip fabrication. We did see some down there earlier too. Crimson Ray one of the largest rays on the planet, displaying generally docile behavior. Number one, thick scaling. Scales formed on the skin protect this ray from extreme temperatures, allowing it to survive in areas unpopulated by competing scavengers. Forward mounted eye sockets. Suggests a predatory evolutionary history left behind long ago. Inedible. All rays are inedible, and they're all herbivores. Well, you have to have some sort of a special evolutionary path if you want to live down in the lava, for sure. 
Damn, I gotta find some time to like, clear some of these out too. Some of these have been sitting here for... forever. Hoopfish. Small school mentality prey fish with a unique method of propulsion and a distant relative of the bladderfish. Oh, that's funny how that works. This one and bladderfish are relatives, but then the spinefish and this one are relatives too. Antenna. This is the antenna? Isn't that just the outer ridge of the fish? Rather than swimming, this life form uses the fine green antenna which encircle its body to alter the composition of the water in front of it, allowing it to sail into the low density space created. Whoa. Purple green coloration may be a camouflage adaptation for mid range light wavelengths, possibly indicating the hoopfish is more active at dawn and dusk. Probably that's not very good if you're near the squid though, because the squid looks at fluorescent fish and light sources. Behavior While schools of hoopfish will form periodically and evade predators en masse, this behavior is more social than it is defensive, and lone hoopfish are often found hunting for food and displaying generally curious behavior. Oh, it's kind of cute. Edible, though. Always good to know. Amoeboid. A simple, non-sentient organism found attached to land with high levels of fossilized organic matter. Okay, there's a lot of dead stuff down there. That's why there's these amoeboids. It feeds on the matter until it reaches maturity, at which point it divides to create two new genetically identical offspring, and the cycle continues. Yeah, it's some sort of like a simple organism. Maybe not one cell, but not much more than one cell. A lot of things here seem to have some kind of a membrane. Common feature of a lot of things on the planet. Lava larva. Lava larva. Sounds like a band name. Oh, it's that thing we saw in the museum! Oh! A grub-like species which appears to lack sight and smell, but is able to sense and drain thermal and electrical energy in its immediate environment. Suction cup. Capable of attaching to smooth surfaces and generating high-pressure suction. Will release if it comes under sufficient strain. Number two, torso. Thick scales protect from extreme temperatures. The lava larva lacks a traditional digestive system. Instead, it powers its internal processes directly from the energy it consumes. Three, behavior. Attracted to energy sources of all kinds, draws energy from its prey to survive. Assessment, avoid when piloting vehicles, remove to conserve batteries. Oh. Wait, what does that mean? Remove what? Remove the vehicle to conserve batteries? Or remove the batteries to conserve the batteries? Oh, when we were going down to the lava earlier, we just swam down. We didn't go in a sea moth. So you're telling me if I go in a sea moth or a prawn suit, then it might try to suck my energy? Okay, well, good to know in advance. Good to know. Again. It's got some evolutionary patterns that make it fit for living in the lava. Man... I... What should I do? Yeah, we're gonna go back down to the disease facility, which I assume it is. And it might be a good idea to make a scanner room. How does that sound? There's a lot of heat down there, and I did bring enough for the stuff. I'm pretty sure I did. I might even have enough for a range upgrade, which might be really important here. Copper, magnetite. Scanner room hut chip. Oh, I do have it already. I don't need another one. Oh, but the, the camera drone. Hmm. The camera drone doesn't have any hull requirements, right? So we would be able to go down. But what's the point of seeing it, though? What's the point of seeing it if you can't explore it yourself? Ah... <sighs> Okay, scanner room. What? I was so sure I brought table coral samples here. Did I not? Really? Frick. But we know we saw a table coral down there, so it might be okay. Thermal plant? Mag- Ah! Oh, I was so sure we brought all this, but I didn't. Hey, does the light from the lava count as sunlight? <laughs> Man. Man. Okay, I'm gonna... Dang it. Aerogel? I... Oh, what an oversight. I must have thought I had enough already because it was glowing green, but then once we left the base area, it wasn't like that anymore. 
Yeah, I like made sure to put a bunch of it in my lockers and stuff, but apparently... I do have aerogel. Yeah. This one I did have the foresight for. But magnetite, I don't think we... Yeah. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna really quickly go back home and we'll come back here. Really, really quickly. Okay, I have on me all the materials we need to make a scanner room, a thermal plant, and also a scanner room range upgrade. Really hoping this is gonna net us something new. I've also brought the tablets as well, which kind of defeats the point of me making the tablets here earlier, but, you know, whatever. You can't calculate it all out. And so today, we go back in the cave for like the fourth time in a row. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. I think there's more interesting stuff around here too, like over here? On the other side of the life pod, there is another entrance looking thing, so eventually... Eventually, I do want to look at everything. It's a shame that we can't just jam the Cyclops down here. When I went back, I contemplated bringing the Prawn Suit here, but... Because the maximum depth right now is the same on the Seamoth and the Prawn Suit, the Seamoth is probably a little bit more flexible for the purposes of exploration. The Prawn Suit, I think, is more for gathering resources, especially with the whole drill arm and whatever. Like this stuff, right? And a bigger problem with the sea moth, not the sea moth, the prawn suit is that... You know how beyond here, there is that big waterfall drop? If we go down there in a prawn suit, uh, how are we ever gonna get back up again? I don't think we'd be able to. Which kind of makes me think that eventually... I mean, they have these deposits here, so they definitely want me to bring the prawn suit here. Which also... Oh, are you guys fighting? <laughs> Which also probably means that they want me to eventually be able to bring the Cyclops down here. There's a lot of resources here. It's a good place. It's just not for me. <laughs> Very scary and poisonous looking. Yeah, like this drop? Uh, pretty sure I don't even need to calculate it out to see that it's over 50 meters. And we currently don't have the jet upgrade for the prawn suit yet, so... That's that. Let's find a hot spot today and just jam a scanner room down. Will we be able to find something new? I'm really hoping, but I don't know. There's a lot of places we still haven't looked at around here yet, though. Like the tree place? I think there might have been more beyond it, but I was in a hurry last time and I... Oh, jeez. Didn't really look around that much. And then also here, we got distracted by the alien structures, but I didn't go up here, did I? Mm, even using beacons might be kind of difficult here. Anyway. 50... Oh, 60 degrees. It's getting really hot here. Oh! Oh! Even my sea moth is burning. And we're also at hull depth, too. We gotta be a little bit careful. We're gonna be neighbors starting from today. Oh! Leviathan skeletal remains. Leviathan. Yeah, we gotta be a little bit careful because when we're inside the sea moth, we can't tell what's scannable. Although there's one thing I can't believe we haven't tried doing yet. Going inside! <laughs> I don't think there's anything in here though. Whatever, it's still fun. Okay. Well, I mean, we might as well read about it now. Deceased? Sea Dragon Skeleton. The semi-intact skeletal structure of a Leviathan-class predator. Head trauma. There is clear evidence of massive physical trauma to the head. The damage is so severe, it was likely the cause of death and must have occurred somewhere nearby. Why? Oh, because it died here, so it must have died soon after it got hit? Damage is consistent with a high-speed collision with a solid object. Hmm, hitting into the facility? The alien facility? Age. Something in the environment has helped to preserve these remains, but calcium decay suggests an approximate time of death 1,000 years ago. Bone growth suggests the creature was in the egg-laying stage of its life cycle. Mmm, that sea dragon egg that we found in the facility. Oh, what if it came here to get it? Like it was angry that the aliens took it, so it rammed its head into the facility trying to get it back? 
You can't mess with mothers, man. Mothers of all species, you can't you can't mess with them. It's really sad then because the mom died because of that, and then the kid is permanently sterilized inside the facility. Hmm. Anyway. Scanner room. As long as the thermal plant is near the geyser, I think it's okay. This can be pretty much anywhere. Oh, this is floating right now. Is that okay? Or- Ah! How do I go inside? Oh, I gotta make a hatch! A hatch! It's not like the multi-purpose room. Oh, God. Or are the tubes? The tubes, you don't have to make a hatch, but then these rooms you do. Okay, okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. Thermal... Plant. Where is it? Can't just stick it on the... It's really hot here! Can I just stick it right here? I'm burning. It says I'm burning, but I'm not losing any health right now, so it's kind of like... Ah, uh, we can probably get this a little bit hotter, I feel like. But honestly, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And then I'm pretty sure I had more stuff. Yeah, it's a fake out. I'm not actually getting hurt by that. Whatever. Did I need the titanium? Maybe. Okie dokie. Whatever, it works. Welcome aboard, Captain. Nickel ore! Nickel ore! There is nickel ore here. Oh, thank God we made this. Oh, it's so close. You're joking me! What? What? It's right there! Um, okay, hold on, hold on. I have too much stuff on me. My inventory is like completely full right now, but... Nickel... That's how close it was to me? Wait, it's inside! But I can't touch that. More importantly, is it gonna be like one big thing or... Uh, I guess we go down. Oh, that means we gotta bring the prawn suit here then. Really? Well, at least we know how to get it, but there was only one here. Maybe one's all I need? Hmm. Okay, I have to think about this then, because if I bring the prawn suit here, we're not gonna be able to get back- Oh! Oh, it's on the walls! Oh! I did miss it! It's just been sitting on the walls! Oh, thank God we made the scanner room! This was one of the best investments I've ever made. Oh, but they're all... What? No, stop giving me in that big chunk. I can't get it right now. I need a... Oh, that looks so similar to the sandstone deposit or whatever. No wonder I didn't... Get it. Thank God. Yes, nickel ore. Didn't even need a scanner upgrade. It was all just sitting here. Does that mean that we can make some depth modules right now, or should I go home? I don't know, but I'm really happy right now. Yay! Yes, yes, give it to me. All right. The sea moth can go inside the little pools here. It hurts. It hurts a little bit. It does corrode it, but we can go inside. That's what matters. Yeah, it looks exactly like the other one. The sandstone outcrop. Oh, these are sandstone outcrops. Ow, ow, ow. No, 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 I thought the... It's this one I'm looking for. Okay. 
Well, awesome. Awesome. But I got all of it already, basically. Except for the ones that I can't get. Okay, okay. You know what? Let's install the range upgrade. And maybe we'll check out if there's anything else interesting that we can find there. Yes, yes. The temperature on this one is a little bit lower because it doesn't have like a constant geyser flowing out. It is charging though. Charging well enough for my purposes. Scanner room upgrade. Range upgrade. I can also make a speed upgrade. I think range is enough for now because this place is just going to be a dedicated scanner room. Stop for now. Anything else new? No. A lot of resources, so hey, if we ever want to just come down here and go ham on collecting resources, that's okay too. Well, I'll stop it for now because I don't need the stuff on my HUD. And I've got a few nickel ores. Is that enough for my purposes? So the prawn suit mark one module. Next time when we go home, we can definitely upgrade it then. What about the Cyclops? Right now we have mark one. Yes, plasteel ingot, nickel ore times three. So now my next thing, my next constraint is kyanite. Okay. Prawn suit death module, mark two. This one I can't make, because the constraint is kyanite. We haven't seen that yet, and it hasn't... It doesn't look like kyanite is in this area. At least not... Not discovered by me right now. Okay, okay. Well, the next thing we should do before maybe temporarily getting out of here is probably... Bring the purple tablet to the alien place. Welcome aboard, Captain. Like, this area, I still haven't gone past. I will keep it in mind. For now, we gotta see what was beyond the barrier. Hmm. That sea dragon probably single handedly destroyed this facility then. Oh my god. Go home, please. Go home, please. Where was the entrance? Hi. Yes. Oh god, it's coming in. It's coming in. Tablet? I want to bring the nickel ore back home. I'm a little bit worried. <laughs> Damn, the aliens make some good stuff, huh? This still works after a thousand years. Did we just come here for a data download? That's it. Integrating new PDA data. Specimen research. Alien data, terminal data, specimen research data, a catalog of information on the organisms previously contained within the alien facility. A number of entries have been translated. Small herbivore gamma. This entry seems to reference the common peeper. Shows no immunity to the infection. Death commonly occurs within four days. Shows symptom remission on exposure to enzyme 42. 
but symptoms quickly recur. Shows advanced learning behaviors, shows some capacity to transmit enzymes to other specimens. <sighs> they were infecting the local fauna on purpose. I guess that's how research happens, but it's kind of sad to read. Leviathan embryos, adult specimen too large to study in containment. Egg specimens acquired from nesting site. Embryos show no sign of immunity. Death commonly occurs within three weeks. Small samples of eggs have been retained for continued high-priority research on Leviathan hatching mechanisms. Large carnivore theta. Off-site lab established to study remains. Shows some potential for immunity to infection, but physical remains so far proved insufficient for full reconstruction. Unidentified Leviathan. This Leviathan species has been assigned designator Sea Emperor. Bone samples from emperor specimens indicate some potential for Kara immunity. Oh! Single specimen captured for study at purpose-built containment facility constructed in volcanic region at depth 1.4 kilometers. A thousand years ago, though. 1.4 kilometers? Definitely can't go there. Assessment. While it is unlikely that the emperor specimen is still contained within the facility described, it may be possible to acquire further data there on the aliens' attempt to develop the vaccine. Where is it? Volcanic region? The lava place? Yeah, that seems likely. It does seem likely. Hmm. Nickel ore. A medium hard ductile metal used extensively in production of strong metal alloys. It has applications throughout the construction industry. Essential for advanced fabrication. How many do we need? We need three here? Do we just need three? I felt like there were more stuff. Oh, we need it for orange tablets too. Oh, now we have nickel ore for the prawn suit jump jet upgrade. But we don't have crystalline sulfur. Okay. Okay. Just trying to have a think here. Mm. We should probably go back home soon then. Just to regroup and consider our next steps. Oh, once we come here with a freaking prawn suit, it's gonna be so good. So many supplies everywhere. Oh my god! Where are ya? Don't be like that. Gonna have some food. I have water. I did bring water. I'm completely out of copper again. When I went back home, I hardly had any. Oh, it's a constant cycle of needing resources and not having it. Probably drink that one. Is there anything around here I can scan? Like those skeletal remains that we saw before. We could scan one of them, but I don't know if we can scan all of them. Damaged cable. Okay, we'll read it all in a sec. Maybe I'll walk around a little bit more and see if we can get more scans. Oh, I wish we could scan with the prawn suit at least, because it's got some fingers and stuff. Kind of reminds me how earlier we read the entry for the crab squid and it said that its hands can use tools, and I still don't know what that means. Like, what does that even mean? Can it hold a scanner? Can it scan stuff too? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, I don't think there's any more scannable things around here. Hey, what about the one inside? Was that scannable? I don't think so. We walked right in front of it. But I guess I can try looking again. Thank you. There's pretty much only one entrance. And now that we've discovered everything, I guess this beacon can be deactivated. I don't feel like there's any more in here. There shouldn't be. Although I kind of wonder about taking the egg and all that. Yeah, when we were here before, something was making some noise, but I don't know what. Couldn't figure it out.
No, this one doesn't. But we can go inside. <laughs> okay, that should be it then. That should be it. By the way, the perimeter defense system on this thing, it never activated. How do I like... The bun's on the bottom, right? How do I like... Mm. I'm guessing the fact that the second icon doesn't have a glowing thing means it's deactivated. So how do I... Ah! Okay, it's the, the hotkeys, one, two, three, four, I guess. But the other three are passive, so the only one I gotta activate is the perimeter one. Noted. Noted for future reference. Okay, so now that we're back out here... Oh jeez, oh jeez. Still wanna look for Crystalline Sulfur if we can. Still wanna look for Kyanite if that's possible. If we can make the Cyclops upgrade, we don't know how far that's gonna take us. In terms of... depth. Hopefully more than 900. Right now it's 500. Is that gonna enable us to go to new places? I'm really hoping so, but we really don't know. Have a look around here. Same sort of place. Really, really hot. Oh god. Who is it? Who is it? Terrain scans indicate this biome contains unusually high concentrations of organic and fossilized remains. This will make a cool roller coaster. Whoop-de-doo! Kinda curious about these little ridges. What kind of creature was this? Is it a rib cage? But like, what are those little ridges? Functionally. Do we have any biologists here that can kinda guess at what that is? Oh, frick! Whoa, shoot, there's more here! What? Whoa! Okay, that's probably a rib cage. Oh, oh no, oh no. That's a mesmer, right? But even these little formations are so weird. It's like a little raised platform. Oh, wow. Dude, there's stuff everywhere in this place. Fossils. But it also said organic matter. Holy f Whoa! This has purple stuff growing on it now. Oh my god. It kind of feels like some kind of a... cult ritual location. Someone's making a blood sacrifice to... Somebody. <laughs> oh my god, what was that? I don't know. Wait, 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 where's the head? Here. I went backwards. Oh wow, this place. Well, I kind of want to activate the scanner room again. Yes. Gargantuan fossil. Whoa, whoa! What the hell? Where do you even come from? Oh, we gotta go, we gotta go. I don't want to get in my Seamoth because we can't actually fire the stasis rifle from the Seamoth. So I want to make sure we're... Oh my freaking god. Are you Junior? Are you Junior? I think so. Goodbye! It was very nice to meet you, but I must... Oh, I can't! The stasis! The stasis is in my Seamoth too! Oh no! Oh no, okay, I'll, I'll just propose it away. Is that okay? 
Actually, I should be proposing my Seamoth away. What am I doing? Oh! No! What are you doing? You jerk! You jerk! Oh my god. Oh my... Okay, we have a very, very big problem here. A very, very big problem. Like a massive problem. Oh my freaking god. Stop! Okay, we have a... Okay, let's... I, uh... I didn't even get to use that perimeter system in the Seamoth. I should have gone... Oh my god. Okay, no. We gotta go. We gotta go. Because we don't have enough oxygen here. We have to get back to the scanner room at the very minimum. And my sea glide was in there too, so that was wonderful. Well, that was... Oh, not now. Not now. I have limited time. Did I lose anything valuable inside the Seamoth? Well, I lost my Sea Glide. Mm. No, there were definitely... I'm trying to do a post-mortem while we're swimming back here. Thank God we have the scanner room, because otherwise, I don't think we'd be able to make it back. But I'm pretty sure we lost everything in that, right? It didn't drop anything. So all of my upgrades, my storage modules, the stuff in the storage modules, my perimeter upgrade, which I never even used once. <sighs> if it wasn't inside that pool, we would have been okay, but that stupid Leviathan. I should have gone out as soon as I could have. I definitely let my guard down a little bit too much. Multiple suboptimal decisions compounded, I think. Yeah. Usually when I see a Leviathan these days, I'm not really scared about it from the perspective of possibly dying. Captain. I think it's scarier that it could take away all my resources. Oh man! We had a purple tablet inside the... Um, in the storage. But other than that, I think it was just stuff like first aid kits, food, water. So really, not too big of a problem. Okay, this is... This is a signal to go home. <laughs> I didn't get to finish looking around yet. Oh, I can't believe how fast that happened. Okay, note it for next time then. Every, every single encounter is a learning lesson, after all. <sighs> Don't even feel like reading the entry now. We gotta get back to the Cyclops first. And then probably it's time to go home. Remake everything. It'll be a matter of gathering resources again, but hopefully not too painful. Oh, man. There were probably several mistakes I made there. Re not repulsing my sea moth out of the stasis field, I guess. That's one. I tried to repair it while it was underneath. But... I couldn't in time. You know, I could have gone out, but that stupid freaking... River Prowler. I think that was my main problem. Oh, we gotta swim a little bit faster by not holding a tool here. Hmm. At the very end, the Leviathan let me go, but the River Prowler came and attacked my Seamoth and took it down, so that was pretty sad. But on the bright side, I'm glad we still have our Nickel Ore here. That's the one really important thing. And thank god the storage module for the Seamoth is quite small, so we couldn't put much in there anyway. Well... One of these days, it had to happen. Two minutes! 
That should be enough to make it back to the Cyclops, right? Oh, really? Thank God we had the scanner room, because otherwise we'd be dead here too. Oh my god. Got a little bit too greedy. So that's why the Leviathan hasn't been here for a while. It probably swam away. That was the same one, right? Dang. Hey, what really peeves me is that I didn't even get to activate the perimeter system more than once. Once as a test. So I never even got to use it. And I got the whole reinforcement too. Oh man. Ah, just so many supplies went down the drain in one second. I'm... Yeah, I'm a little bit down. Just a little bit. But hey, what's more important is that we have our life. Will we have our life? Stay tuned because we have 80 seconds until we find out. <laughs> Do we have a life? Will we be able to make it? Uh, I... I feel like we should be able to, but it's actually kind of scary. The one time I don't have the Seamoth on me. It's gotta be on my person. It can't be stashed away. Lesson learned. In terms of lessons, we probably learned multiple new ones today, so I'm happy about that, I guess. Okay, this is really tense, actually, because I'm a little bit worried here. I'm just watching that timer tick down. Oh my god! Okay, we'll be fine. 30 seconds. Our life is fine. Welcome aboard. Okay. All systems online. Well, I did get the impression that things might have been going a little bit too well for us recently anyway. <laughs> it's time to knock me down a peg. Gotta be more careful. Don't get cocky just because we won't die by the Leviathan. Okay, let's... let's go home. Let's go home. Engine powering up. I've had enough of this place. And this might be like a, hey, let's go freaking bring the prawn suit over here. Let's go make some upgrades for the Cyclops. Nickel ore, all that. Yeah, 